imagine shading Jojo Siwa, who's literally taller than you, richer than you, and even 12 years younger than you. This is really embarrassing for you. Hey loves, your favorite tea spiller is back with many controversial and scandalous topics to spill on the TikTok community. As many of y'all are probably shocked by the intro of today's video, yeah. Apparently, Jojo Siwa and a famous rapper are beefing together on social media. And guys, it got really intense and problematic yesterday. I know there's a lot of questions going around right now about how the Jojo Siwa got in her first ever beef with a rapper, but for me personally, I feel like it's not surprising that another celebrity is hating on Jojo right now since she's been receiving a lot of shade recently after she decided to be open about her sexuality. However, this week was totally different for our girl Jojo because while she was in her mansion with her girlfriend minding her business, the famous rapper DaBaby decided to drop a song out of nowhere and surprisingly in the lyrics he called Jojo a bitch for no reason. Check this out. Nigga, you a bitch. Jojo see why bitch. let the wrong Wow. That was so powerful. <laughs> now, of course, when this short clip was shared on social media, a lot of people started assuming that DaBaby was shading JoJo in his song. And guys, the entire internet, including Nikita Dragon and Diego Martir, decided to defend JoJo against DaBaby, to the point where both DaBaby and JoJo Siwa started trending on Twitter for more than 24 hours. Baby, don't play with my girl JoJo Siwa. Put some respect on her name, little boy. DaBaby's stupid. Not even trying to hold y'all when I say that JoJo Siwa makes DaBaby baby's entire net worth every year. To baby beefing Jojo Siwa? Hope he knows that she's taller than him. As people were destroying to baby on Twitter, James Charles thought it would be a good idea if he involved himself as well to defend his friend Jojo. But this poor guy literally got attacked as soon as he spoke up since a lot of people started asking James to stay out of black people's business. Can someone please explain why DaBaby is dissing Jojo Siwa when she's 12 years younger, 10 times richer, and 2 inches taller than him? Stay out black people business love, we got this one. A grown ass man is dissing a teenage girl for literally no reason, this has nothing to do with race. Anyways, even though hundreds of influencers were making a huge deal out of the situation, Jojo was still quiet throughout the entire drama. But then, DaBaby finally decided to step in and address the mess he caused by explaining that he wasn't shading Jojo at all. And in fact, his daughter is also a huge Jojo fan, and he would never roast or shade her in his songs. Just look at this. I love Twitter, bruh. I see why I'm not like the rest of you. I don't see why they so mad either, bae. Bae, I don't see why they so mad at you. At it's Jojo Siwa, my three-year-old princess is your number one fan. I bought her every product you have out. She thinks she's you. Don't let him trick you into thinking I'd ever have a problem with you. My wordplay just went over their heads. All love on my end, shoddy. Keep shining. Yeah, this entire time people were dragging the baby for allegedly shading JoJo in his song when it just was a play on words. And guys, a lot of people felt embarrassed for James Charles after the entire drama was explained since he decided to overreact and cause a scene without really understanding the meaning behind it. Here's what people had to say about it. I just know James feel dumb ASF right now. Once again, James caused a scene and got all his little middle schooler stands to try and cancel someone. He he literally didn't throw shade at her. Y'all so sensitive, he was literally just rhyming her name with the lyrics. Anyways loves, what's your opinion on DaBaby getting accused of shading Jojo Siwa? Do you think he deserved all the hate for it? Let me know in the comments down below. Wow. Bryce Hall did not only just upset Dixie and his fans by his stupid prank, but he also got the entire D'Amelio family to attack him for it? I already told y'all, this will end up really bad. So, I know a lot of people were mad at how I've been defending Bryce for the last couple of months, but I personally apologize for it and would like to take my words back. Because it seems that Bryce has been storing all his problematic energy for the past couple of months, and of course he decided to let it all out this week. If you guys have seen my recent YouTube videos about Bryce, you probably know how he made the TikTok community upset by the prank he pulled on Dixie and Noah. If you haven't seen it, check this out. Bro, I'm freaking out. Is she on? No, not yet. Stop. Don't worry. Yo, dead ass. Yo, what's up, dude? What is going on? <laughs> Did she get mad? She just hung up immediately. You're so annoying.
Yeah, it was crystal clear how Dixie was upset with Bryce's prank and the awkward position he put her through with her boyfriend Noah Beck. However, as the drama between Bryce and Dixie was getting fixed offline, a paparazzi decided to video record Noah this week and get his reaction to the backlash Bryce received for his prank. And that's when things went downhill. Since as soon as Noah explained that Bryce apologized to him privately, a lot of people started assuming that Noah seemed very unhappy about it. See for yourself. Bryce knows he made him like it. Bryce Bryce knows he kind of stepped a little line. It, it was a bit disrespectful, and he apologized to me. But he, even sh he shouldn't even apologize to me. He should apologize to Dixie. While Noah was pretending that the entire situation wasn't really a big deal to him, Dixie D'Amelio, on the other hand, seemed very angry and uncomfortable about the prank after she got asked by a paparazzi. Did the, did the prank, did it affect you at all? Uh, it was fine. I, it was, I don't really have an opinion on it. It was okay. Not his best prank. Oh my god, I know for a fact Dixie didn't accept Bryce's apology at all. I can can I please have a moment, please, please Get the f out of my room. <laughs> Anyways, after it looked like it was all solved between Dixie and Bryce, Dixie's own parents, Mark and Heidi, suddenly got involved in the situation after they were also approached by a paparazzi, and of course they both weren't here for the prank at all. I, I, I saw it and I thought it was trash. There you That's go. mom's opinion. Don't mess with my kids. Trust you will be dealt with. Period. Period. Clearly, you guys, none of the D'Amelio family was happy with the awful prank Bryce did on Dixie. And guys, even a lot of people defended Dixie's mom, Heidi, as well, after she stood up for her daughter just to protect her. That's her own daughter. Of course she'll be pissed off. She has every right. Why is everyone mad at Heidi? LMAO. She's right. She's not wrong, though. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Dixie still being upset about Bryce's prank? Do you think her parents shouldn't have involved themselves in the situation? Let me know in the comments. The fact? that some people are accusing Nessa Barrett of selling her soul to the devil is really concerning me. If you guys have seen the majority of my recent videos, you probably have an idea of all the accusations people made on TikTokers in the last couple months. And that is joining the Illuminati and selling their soul to the devil. Yeah, guys, this topic has been going around for a while now, and the fact that it's making hundreds of people believe it's true is actually terrifying. I mean, both Charlie and Dixie have suffered through months of people continuously accusing them of being members of the Illuminati. And on top of that, Addison Rae was also accused by a bunch of people recently of selling her soul to the devil. However, this week, our girl Nessa Barrett decided to confuse and worry millions of people after she dropped her new song with Jaden Hustler called La Die Die. And in this song, you guys, a lot of people noticed how Nessa mentioned a very strange lyric, which made many people make TikTok videos about it. While these videos were quick to gain much attention on social media, and Nessa Barrett somehow stumbled upon the videos and decided to address them by saying this in the comments. I would never sell my soul. And guys, despite how Nessa made it very clear that she'll never do such a thing, her own fans started defending her by sharing an old video of Nessa saying she'll never sell her soul to the devil. People just like read into other people's lives too much and like get like carried away with conspiracy theories, but I just think it's kind of ridiculous for people to say that I sold my soul when I didn't. Like, I don't think anyone would sell their soul for a few followers on TikTok. <laughs> What's your opinion on Nessa Barrett getting accused of selling her soul? Also, let me know your thoughts on today's recap video down in the comments below. I love you so much.